Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 4 Competition. Unit 1 The Iron Man. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to explain what is an Iron Man, describe the tough training needed to participate in this competition, and recall how this competition came into being. Paragraph 1. Each October in Hawaii, <clears throat> correction, paragraph 1. Each October in Hawaii, 1,800 male and female athletes come from all over the world to compete. They are competitors in a challenging triathlon called the Ironman. The competition is a combination of three types of races. Athletes start with a 2.4 mile ocean swim. Then they get on bicycles for a 112 mile bike race. They finish the triathlon by running a marathon, a 26.2 mile foot race. The competition begins at 7 a.m. The athletes who cross the finish line by midnight are called Ironmen. Paragraph 2. So how does a competitor train for this ultimate race? Most triathletes begin training months before the race. They increase their endurance, their ability to perform for a long period of time through daily biking, running, and swimming. Many competitors add weightlifting, yoga, and or pilates to their routines. The average Ironman triathlete spends 18 to 24 hours each week training for this event. Paragraph 3. Good nutrition or healthy eating is also an important part of preparing for this difficult race. Eating high quality food provides fuel to push the body to do its best. During the race, triathletes drink water and sports drinks. Many also eat soup, fruit, or a specially designed energy gel. Paragraph 4. Getting ready for the Ironman involves preparation of the mind as well as the body. Most athletes begin their training by setting an objective or goal. For some, the objective is to win. Others want to improve their time. Some simply want to finish the race. These Ironman competitors develop training plans. They ask for the support of friends, family, and co-workers. As they train, many athletes imagine themselves on race day, crossing the finish line. Paragraph 5. The Ironman Triathlon is probably the most difficult athletic event ever created. To most people, the idea of such a competition sounds insane. A person must be crazy to attempt such a difficult race. To a few athletes, however, the Ironman race is the ultimate athletic challenge. These people spend an enormous amount of time training their bodies and minds all for the title, Ironman. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, routines. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. Scheduled training. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word routines. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see in this picture a lifestyle of someone and its routine, a scheduled training. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word routines. Let's read the sentence. Many competitors add weightlifting, yoga, and or pilates to their routines. Number two, enormous. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A. Large. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word enormous. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see a man here holding a huge ice cream. And that's what enormous means. Large. Like this ice cream. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word enormous. I'll read the sentence for you. These people spend an enormous amount of time training their bodies and minds all for the title Iron Man. Choose the best answer. Question number one. What must an athlete do to be called an Iron Man? B. Finish the competition by midnight. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. In the last sentence it reads, The athletes who cross the finish line by midnight are called Ironmen. Question number two. How long is a marathon? C. 26.2 miles. Now let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us that answer. 
They finish the triathlon by running a marathon, a 26.2 mile foot race. Question number three. What do all Ironman athletes include in their training? A. Biking, swimming, and running. A. Biking, swimming, and running. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. The answer can be found over multiple sentences. I will read and highlight them for you. Athletes start with a 2.4 mile ocean swim. Then they get on bicycles for a 112 mile bike race. They finish the triathlon by running a marathon, a 26.2 mile foot race. In this you could see we have swim, swimming, bike race, and foot race. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed, can you talk about some of the things you learn in this unit? Well, in this unit I learned about competitions and specifically an Ironman is the ultimate athlete. They ride a bike or a bicycle for 112 miles, swim for 2.4 and run for 26.2. In order to accomplish this hard challenge athletes often do daily biking running and swimming and also this competition held every year in Hawaii during the month of October 